What's up guys, Bionic here with another video on Raid Shadow Legends. Today is going to be something that has been covered before, uh, which is the 800 gems for unlocking all the masteries. So I've just had the opportunity to test it with three champions back to back. And uh, as you guys know, I'm 100% free to play player. So for me to spend 800 gems uh, versus doing it manually, obviously uh, that would mean wasting a lot of resources. So uh, the short answer is that uh, you were to save about 140 gems uh, if you were to do it manually, if you just take the average of scrolls you get for each of the three um, types, and then you kind of just multiply that by the amount of runs that you get. So uh, I think a good video on it is uh, was done by uh, Salt. And uh, by doing it manually and tested it for my own, I came up to slightly different values. Uh, but there's also a, a, another aspect that wasn't covered in the video, which we'll do in this one today. So before I get started, I will point out that the link to the salt video will be in the description. And then what I'll do uh, is I'll go over a chart that I made. I will explain the chart, uh, but it should be relatively easy to understand on its own. Uh, but still, I, I think it's best if you guys just stick around for me to explain it uh, so you can understand my thought process on how I came up with those values. Okay, as you can see in the background, I just finished uh, Xavia, which was my third champion that I did. And you can see she's level 36. And that is the big difference. That is the thing that wasn't covered before. Uh, because as you're doing Minotaur, you're actually leveling your champions. And this is energy that you would instead not need to spend on this champion because you've done it through the Minotaur. Okay, so I've done it with three champions, Skull Crusher, Steel Skull, and Xavia, and they all came up to roughly the same values, which is basically what you see here. So this table explains what happens when you take your champion from level 1, 60, and you run it through Minotaur as quickly as possible. So you will reach on average level 36 and a half. Now the guy who pays 800 gems will then have to spend more gems on leveling that champion to level 36 and a half, uh, which is why you then see a difference between both. But the long answer is basically this. So I tried it with three different champions. I got a different number of runs than what was proposed originally. I think the average was uh, supposed to be about 155. So not quite sure if I got really lucky with all three of them, but my run average is gonna be uh, 153 for the sake of this example. The time frame is also very different uh, because my runs are one minute and a half or between one minute and one minute and a half. And because I did my champions over the course of a couple of days, except the last one, which I tried tried to do it as quickly as possible and my starting energy obviously was different because I was saving up from events uh, from daily refills daily quests and so on so my total gem cost for all three obviously is a lot lower uh, another thing that did vary a little bit is the amount of silver that I made uh, for each but I'm gonna say on average it was 1.1 million and the amount of XP was also very similar which I will say on average was 316,000 uh, which is the energy you need to level the champion to 36 and a half, like I said, doing Minotaur only. So from this, I'm going to uh, say that my best case scenario would be to do 153 runs in about four hours. So that's without really taking a break and being very efficient on pressing that replay button. And I'm gonna say that I'm gonna start off with full energy and then have those four hours of regeneration, which means that uh, I will then have to spend about 15 refills, which equates to uh, 600 gems. I'll be making that 1.1 million. And then I'll use that to compare against the guy who's doing the instant method. So so um, the guy that's doing the instant method will then have to do 37 extra runs uh, with this same champion using about 296 energy, which amounts to about 2.3 refills. Uh, I know I can't calculate it that way exactly, but for the sake of this example, let's say we can. So the guy using the instant method will then be spending about 890 gems compared to the guy like myself who will be doing about 600 gems uh, and making a total of 360k. That's not a lot. It's basically what you get when you uh, subtract the 740,000 uh, from the 1.1 million. And this value I came up with by using basically the amount of silver you get from the run itself, plus selling the shield, which I uh, said would be on average uh, about 9,000. So I'm not sure if that's 100% accurate, but still I, I think it, it, it's all right for this example. So um, obviously you can already see a big difference in gem count. So what happens if we multiply this by three? By doing this, it helps the guy uh, that's doing the instant method out a little bit because uh, the 90 gems that you'd be spending to level that champion to 36 and a half in the campaign now becomes about only 30 per champion 
because you're actually doing three at the same time. Uh, and for the guy like myself, who let's say is doing this for 12 hours straight, which I highly doubt, but still, uh, you would get about 1800 gems. And the way I got to this value is basically by doing the total amount of energy minus a full energy, two daily refills, and that 12 hour regeneration. So that would amount to about 45 refills. So the difference would be almost 700 gems and 1.1 million silver. So uh, even if we don't take into consideration the silver, that 700 gems, guys, uh, is about an extra champion uh, or definitely like uh, an extra champion if you're doing the manual method, but almost also an extra champion if you're doing the uh, instant method. So let's say you were to do three um, manual ones, then you could buy yourself a fourth one, or uh, you could literally just be doing uh, another manual and even have more gems uh, saved up from this difference. So um, I already know what some of you guys are going to say. You're comparing a level 15 Minotaur run as well as a fully dedicated team that can do it very fast and you are level 60 which means you're getting 130 energy per refill and that's absolutely true um, in this case uh, I'm using sort of like the perfect setup for myself. Now, uh, is it still worth it to buy all the masteries for 800 gems for certain uh, situations? Absolutely, especially when you're starting off and if you get a game-changing champion. Let's say your account is a month old, uh, you're struggling to compete in the clan boss, and you get like a Tyrell or an Occult Brawler or, or a uh, Dracomorph or whatever, then sure man, go ahead and sp spend that 800 energy. You're probably gonna get a big boost on your account and you'll start getting better rewards from your clan boss drops faster. Uh, but when is it not worth it? I think for end game players who are looking to hopefully um, um, maximize their return on, on what they're buying if you are spending on the game then i would suggest that you just kind of bite it and go through the manual method uh or if you are uh very rich uh and you just really don't care about uh wasting any money then by all means go ahead and do it man like it is a lot quicker and it's really not that much of a difference when you compare uh that based on let's say you know thousands and thousands of gems so it's up to you guys but still i just wanted to put it out there uh because as you know, and as I've said multiple times, I'm 100% free to play, so I'm really trying to min-max the amount uh, of, uh, of what I get out of my resources, basically. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, don't forget to check the description to see how you can support my channel, and I'll catch you guys later.